Hello, everyone. Lovely to see you. Have you done something with your hair? It looks absolutely divine. It's Wednesday. It's House of Games. I'm Richard Osman. I'm sitting next to, on my right, a terrible trophy, and on my left, some wonderful contestants. Let's meet them one more time, shall we? They are Jenny Eclair. Thank you. Diane Buswell. Owain Wynne Evans. Hello. And Adam Jamili. Hello, everyone. Hello, Richard. Hi, Richard. Our champion on Monday was Adam. Won some sliders. Uh, our champion yesterday, Jenny Eclair. Oh. On a onesie. How do you feel? Well, I feel it was a bit of a fluke, to be honest. It wasn't a fluke. <laughs> not. No, you it's, 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 it, it does us. make you relax a bit, doesn't it? When you've got one under your belt, and they just think, I can just let it, I can let it slide now. I love that you're, you don't you're know going that right, right over the other side of the studio, <laughs> just, just like <laughs> Diane and Owen going, oh, oh, really, yeah. is that yes. right? It feels is great, it, discover it? that, darling. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it relaxing? Yeah, yeah, lovely for you. You'll have your day. It would be nice if we can all get one. Promise. <laughs> yeah. Um, nice. Let's take a look at our, our weekly leaderboard, though, shall we? Okay. See where we stand. It's all very, very close. But uh, Adam, right up the top there, from Jenny, then Diane and Owen with four points each. Um, Owen, you got a win in you this week, do you think? I, I'm feeling more confident today. I don't know if it's the ruffle. Uh, oh, I don't know yeah. if it's the pearl on the brooch. But there's something about today that's making me feel a little bit more positive. The ruffle and the pearl. We'll see. Hey. Oh, it's a great it's combination. Of autobiography, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> a great Victorian detective <laughs> yeah, novel. Yeah. The ruffle and the pearl. <laughs> Um, Diane, should we look at today's prizes? Oh, please. I know your partner Joe has brought many of these prizes back to your house already. He has. Just in case you wanted some more. Oh. Uh, there is oh, the backpack, the scented candle, the salt and pepper shakers, the dartboard, and new for this series, the Bee Hotel. Ooh. Oh. Oh, adorable. Um, what are we thinking, Diane? Oh, can't go past a little bee hotel. Lovely. Well, you live That's in the neck of the woods where cute. I grew up. It's full of wildlife, it lots is. of bees. We're going to encourage them. So a we'll bee look hotel. After our bees, I like that. Oh, Ian, what would you fancy? Well, having perused the choices available today, Richard, I think for <laughs> me it's only the salt and pepper grind. Oh, really? Yeah, they'd be perfect in my kitchen. That bag, though, that's also quite cute, isn't it? And practical. Okay. Well, listen. When you win, yes. At the end, we'll have this discussion in more depth. <laughs> Fabulous. Okay, and then we'll work it out. Um, Can't wait. Adam, you got your sliders already. What else do you fancy? If I'm in my sliders, I've got to be throwing some darts at a dartboard, oh, I think. Oh, looks... sliders. <laughs> yeah. That is a health and safety nightmare. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Jenny? I'm going to fight Diane for the bee house. Oh. Yeah, don't you think? Mm. Yeah. It's a nice thing to have. Shall we play Wednesday's House yes. Games? Let's get on, shall we? Our first round today is... King of the Jumble. Fingers on buzzers, please. I'll give you two questions at a time. The answers are anagrams of each other. So just give me both answers, please. Here's your first one. Character played by Dan Stevens in a 2017 Disney film opposite Emma Watson as Belle. And surname of the motel owner Norman in the film Psycho. <laughs> yes, Diane. Beast. Mm. Beast Ben. Bet no. I'll time you out, I mm. think. Anybody else? Yes, Jenny. Beast and Bates. Beast and Bates, we were looking for. The Bates Motel. Beauty and the Beast. Next two. Ah. Capital of South Korea. And creature that lays eggs known as nits. <laughs> yes, Owen. Soul and Louse. Ah. Soul and Louse is the right answer. Soul and Louse we were looking for. Well played, Owen. Next two. What band is this? And what are these? Yes, that is Diane. Kiss and skis. Kiss and skis. It is kiss and skis. Sorry, well done. I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next one. Ring-shaped bread roll that is boiled before baking. And surname of Gone with the Wind actor Clark. Yes, Jenny. Um, it is a bagel and gable. Bagel and gable. Nice. Exactly what it is. Clark Gable and a bagel. Um, next two. What is this? And a website that allows any user to add or edit content. Yes, that's Diane. Um, uh, a chicken <laughs> and... Um, Twitter. <laughs> no. I'm afraid I'm going to time it. you out. 
Adam was so... They were all desperate to get it. Yes, Adam. <laughs> uh, Kiwi oh. and Wiki. Kiwi and Wiki? Oh. Very good. Oh. It's the right answer. Well done. Um, next two. Michael Van Wyck's gladiator name and surname of the Owen Colfer literary character Artemis. Yes, Adam. Wolf and Fowl? Wolf and Fowl. Well played, it is. Wolf and Gladiators, Michael Van Wyck. Final question in this round. Nickname for the England women's football team and synonym of silent. Yes, Jenny. Well, it's lions, and then I've got to get a... Mm, a synonym for silent, silent. from lions. Silent, uh, I've, um, I, I've blown this, and now I can't think... Loins? Any... Loins are fairly silent. My silent loins. <laughs> um... <laughs> My God, I loved that film. It's a great film. It's a great film. Um, I'm going to time you out. Yeah, don't Jenny, blame and see if, uh, Anyone fancy? Yes, I, I might be really stupid. It's lionesses. Yeah. And <sighs> but silence there. I don't want to say silences or silence. I think I'm. Yeah, I think I'm wrong. But you are incorrect. I'm yeah. Afraid. <laughs> so Teddy. Yeah. Lionesses. And noiseless. Noiseless. Oh. You're looking for Horses noiseless. Well done if you worked that out at home. That's the end of that round. Everybody off the mark. Let's take a look at our first leaderboard of the day. Owen and Diane, you have one point each. Jenny and Adam, two points each. <laughs> Nothing between start. them. And Diane, every single day you've had points now. I know. You said at the beginning I know. you weren't going to score points. At one point you said you're going to go into Negos. Negos. <laughs> and look at you. You've had no Negos. No, no Negos, Negos at all. <laughs> Time for a pairs game, I think. Time for a pairo. Reichardt Osman's Hausch der Spiel. It is a pairs game. Uh, Diane, why don't you choose your partner today? Um, oh, gosh. Let's go with Adam, because I haven't been with Adam yet. Cool. Let's go with Adam. Yes. So, Owain and Diane, if you'll swap places, please. Yes. Stop. <laughs> We're together. At last. At last. I've waited so long for this moment, <laughs> darling. What Here we are. the world has been waiting for. <laughs> Jenny and Owain oh, and spelling? Diane and Adam are a team. Oh, now, in this round, all of the questions and all the answers are in foreign languages. Here are your categories. Okay. So, would you like a question on Geografia Humana, Festivita Nazionale, Merkisfolk, Gebaude, TV Spell, or Energy? So, they're all in different languages. Jenny and Owain. What do you think? Should we choose one? Oh, any, do you speak oh, any languages? Gebaude. Gebaude. I speak a bit of German, but Should I we don't go know. for Gebaude? Yeah, let's yeah, go Gebaude, even though we've no idea what no it means. Idea. German Fun. and Welsh sound quite similar there as well. Go. OK, great. So... Speak a little bit of German, Jenny. Uh, Gebaude... Ein bisschen. <laughs> ...is German... Ein bisschen, yeah. ...is German for buildings. Oh. Gebaude. <laughs> what is it German for? Buildings. Building. Sorry, it's not your question. Oh, OK, OK. <laughs> OK, OK. okay. Oh, go for the... Okay. Uh, Gebaude. German for buildings. And here is your question. Was hat das Moulin Rouge in Paris auf seinem Dach? Is your question. What has the Moulin Rouge in Paris? Uh, is it Windmühle? Not windmills. A sculpture? Or a flag? Oh, it is windmill. windmill. Yeah, it's yeah. windmill. Wind, yeah, windmill. What do we think the question is? Uh, what, what has the Moulin Rouge in Paris? What is the building? Yeah, what's like, kind of like symbol a, of it? Is it or... a logo or...? It's on the roof, isn't it? Alf Seinem yeah. down there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you think it's windmill and you think... <laughs> and you, you're taking the risk that German for windmill is Windmüller. We are taking I mean, that risk. I think so. One assumes it must be, right? Yeah. Um, let's find out. Is the answer Windmüller? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. 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 The question was, Dankeschön. what does the Moulin Rouge in Paris have on its roof? Windmill, sculpture and flag were the other two. Ah. Diane and Adam, a foreign question for you. Which of these would you like? Should we try the folk one? Yeah, I don't know what language that is. I mean, folk to me feels dancey, so we're just like going to... Folk dance? Like, yeah. Do you speak any, what, do you speak any language? No, I speak Indonesian. 
Salamat pagi datang. I say good. I speak it, that's the only term I know. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> Whatever you fancy. Whatever you fancy, let's just go for it. Let's go for that one. Merkis folk. We're going for a Merkis folk. Hope it's about dancing. It is, oh, no. Um, it, it's notable people. Oh. But uh, I've got to read this out. It's in Icelandic. Icelandic. Oh, oh. Indonesian Icelandic. <laughs> Here we go. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Here's your question. My apologies to the wonderful people of Iceland. Vidhavat Staffa Norman Foster. Okay. I can do that bit. It's one of these three things. Gaimfari, Diplomati, Architect. I think Staffa is something to do with a safari. No, I and, think it's the job. And What's I the feel job? like Jimafari means that that's what he does. So is he a diplomat? Is he like? Is he a politician? Is he an architect? Adam, I feel like you don't agree with <laughs> Diane's assessment of the situation. I'm not sure. Are we going down the right? Do you not <laughs> agree with it my? Could, it could be. Could be. Could be. A, he could be on safari. Could be. If you give me your sliders, I could give you this. Do you know? Oh, do you know okay. who Norman Foster is? Yeah, very, yeah. very much so. Do okay. You? There must be a. I feel like he's an architect then. Do you, do you reckon? Yes. Let's lock in. Yeah, uh, let's lock in architect. Yeah. You, you're happier with Diane's thinking now. Perfect. Than, yeah. Uh, Perfect. The safari. Yeah. The safari bit. <laughs> safari, <laughs> safari might probably be. not. So you're hoping it is what job does Norman Foster do, and you think Should architect be. is architect, <laughs> okay. which makes sense. Let's find out. Is the answer architect? It is architect. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Just warming you up with the safari. Perfect. Bit. And what was that question? Yeah, what is the profession of Norman uh -huh. Foster? Very, very well done. The other answers were astronaut and diplomat. Jenny and Owain, what question would you like next? I don't know why I'm drawn towards five TV spell. Um, I'm so drawn to that. Are you drawn to it as well? <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> well, since we're both drawn to it together, shall we go for it? Let's go for it. I mean, it feels like there's a... It feels like it must be something to do with TV. Yeah, <laughs> you would yeah. hope. One would hope. But let's find out. Uh, now, TV spell is Swedish for video games. Oh. oh. OK. What have we done? Again, apologies to the Swedes. Vad samla spelaren i Sonic the Hedgehog. The Village Spelserian for at Vina Extra Leaf. Um, your three possible answers are Mint, Stiano, oh. Ringa. Oh. Don't look at me. <laughs> oh, I know the answer to this, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so something to do with. Obviously, the video game Sonic the Hedgehog. Wow, I didn't think you spoke Swedish. Well, it's my, <laughs> it's my third language. What yeah. do you do to get an extra life? Oh, I think so. In Sonic the Hedgehog, as I recall, you have to you jump up and there are rotating rings. So rings. So do we ring think R. ring R? Yeah, I do. Adam's gutted. When <laughs> it's ring R, yeah, ring R. Yeah, going to go for a ring R. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, let's, let's find out. Is it. the answer ring R? It is nice. ring R. Well the question was. What do the players of Sonic the Hedgehog video game series collect to win extra lives? It is rings. The other ones were coins and stars. Final question in this round, Diane and Adam. Mm. Which category would you like? I feel like number two is Italian, you know? Vestiverta yeah, but... and you live, I live in there. Italy and my mum is half Italian. Oh, so she'll go sense. with that one. We're gonna, go. we're gonna lock in number two. Festivita mm. Nazionale, it is Italian for national holidays. Yes. Here is your question. Il giorno di San Patrizio si celebra in quale mese? What day, a giorno is day? Is St. Patrick's Day? St. Pat, yes. Let's take a look at your three possible answers. Gennaio. Gennaio. Marzo. March. So which month is it? Giorno. I think it's March. Is it March? I think so. I reckon Marzo. Marzo, yeah, Marzo. lock Marzo. in Marzo. You think Marzo? Marzo? Yeah. So we think it's what day is St. Patrick's Day? Marzo. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Here's the answer, Marzo. It is yes! Marzo. Well done, yes. Thank God we got the Italian one. And the question, <laughs> absolutely right. St. Patrick's Day is celebrated in which month? And that, of course, March, January, March and June. Very well done. So, Owain and Diane, if you could swap back, please. That was a successful round for everyone, <laughs> except for me. <laughs> um, let's look at the leaderboards. Oh, that's nice Ooh, and close, isn't so it? So tight. Diane Ooh. and Owain have three points each. Jenny and Adam with four points each. 
Anybody's game. Anybody's game on Wednesday. Our next round is... Opposites attract. Uh, fingers on buzzers, please. I'm going to give you a category. Your first category is fairy tales. Now, the clues I'm going to give you will be the opposites of the answers. So if you can work out the opposite of the clue, it will give you the name of a fairy tale. Here's your first one. Waking Ugly. Yes, Owain. Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty. You see how this works. Waking Ugly becomes Sleeping Beauty. Next fairy tale. The Commoner's Old Nakedness. Yes, Owain. Um, oh, gosh. I'm going to time you out. Oh, sorry, I didn't you there. The King's New Clothes. Oh. Incorrect, I'm afraid. Oh. It's not the King. Oh! Diane. The Prince's New Clothes. The Prince's New Clothes is also incorrect. <laughs> Not the prince or the king. Adam? I, I don't know if it's not the king. I'm going to tell you it's the emperor's, the emperor's new clothes. Oh, we were looking oh for. my god, the oh. emperor's! The emperor's new Yours clothes. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love how angry everyone is with themselves. Yeah. Oh. So uh, <laughs> next fairy tale The Sand King. Yes, Diane. The Water Queen. The Water Queen? Incorrect. No. Yes, Adam. The Snow Queen? The Snow Queen is correct. Oh. Well done. Oh. Next category. Children's TV shows. There will be the opposites of these clues. Safety Cat. Yes, Owain. Danger Mouse. Danger Mouse, well done. <laughs> Although I would watch Safety Cat as well. Safety Cat's great. Uh, next one. Workhouse. Um, yes, Owain. Play school. Play school. Oh, is correct. Well I done. Workhouse. Play, play school. Next children's TV show. Lightning fish. Yes, Adam. Thundercats. Thundercats. I was incorrect. Yes, Diane. Dark cat. It's not, I'm afraid. <laughs> no. Adam, I'm going to give you that. So we, yeah. I'll tell you what we were looking for. We were looking for Thunderbirds. Yes. Oh, Thunderbirds. Thunder yes. Yeah. Oh. But Thundercat's perfectly acceptable answer as well. Well done if you said either of those at home. Uh, next category. Game shows. Oh, here we go. That are the opposite of these. <laughs> Primary school solution. Yes, Owain. University Challenge. Oh, of course, University wow, Challenge. Well, well done. done. Wow, I didn't. That was quick. Next one. Safety. Yes, that is Diane. Danger. Danger. It's incorrect. No, I was so phrase. convinced. I was convinced. <laughs> I was just slower than you on the same word. <laughs> ah. Safety. Do you know this one? Yes, Owain. Risk. Risk. It's a good game. It is not. So I tell you? Jeopardy. Oh. American show Jeopardy. Final question in this round. Final game show. The Sphere. Yes, Adam. Oh, uh, the Cube. The Cube. Absolutely right, Adam. Well played. Lovely end to the round. <laughs> I like that one, though. The end great. of Opposites yeah. Attract, and let's take a look at um, what it's done to the leaderboard. Oh, and loves an opposite, don't you? That was a good one. Diane, you have three points. Nice. Yesterday's champion, Jenny, has four. Owen and Adam, Sliding. seven points each. How about that? Guys, Adam has won this week. Owen has yet to win this week. I'm just getting ready for mine. Salt and pepper, yeah. Salt and pepper, Just getting ready for them. <laughs> uh, here is your next round. Name tag. Fingers on buzzers, please, everyone. Uh, every question I ask is going to have a name somewhere in its answer. I need you to replace the name in the answer with one of your competitors. They will then get the next question. So whichever person you tag in your answer will then get the next question. So here is your first question. 
Jodie Comer plays an assassin called Villanelle in which TV series? Yes, that is Jenny. Oh, everyone loved it. Oh. My daughter will kill me. <laughs> oh. I'm going to time you out, Jenny, yes. I'm afraid. Give someone else a shot. Yes, Adam. Killing uh, Owain. Killing Thanks, Owain <laughs> is correct. Killing Eve killing becomes Eve, killing yeah. Owain. And it means, Owain, you get the next question. OK. It's a, a rare technical slip there from Adam giving his main competitor uh, a chance to get a point. <laughs> oh, yeah, what am I... What's yeah. going on? <laughs> Sorry, bro. Yeah, I, 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 I really want you to get the shakers, um, that's what I want. <laughs> Owain, please replace any name in this with one of your competitors. Which cake, particularly associated with the Women's Institute, has two layers and a filling of raspberry jam? Oh, um, that's a... Um... A Jenny sponge. Jenny sponge? That's correct. Victoria sponge becomes Jenny sponge. And Jenny, you get the next question. Right, thanks. Which song from the animated film Encanto was a UK number one hit in 2022? I don't know. Diane's on the buzzer. Um... They're all... Look at these three. <laughs> How frustrating it must be <sighs> for you. <laughs> what do I do on this occasion? Uh, you pass. I pass. You can pass if you wish, and we can buzz in. Yeah, I don't know. Yes, Diane. Oh, we don't talk about Adam. Very good. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. right yeah. I still don't quite get this game. We but... don't talk about Bruno because we don't talk about <laughs> Adam. And Adam, a Perfect question rendition. for you. There we go. That's funny. Which 1961 book by Roald Dahl is about a boy who crosses the Atlantic inside a large piece of fruit? Diane and the Giant Peach. Diane and the Giant Peach? <laughs> the correct answer. James <laughs> and the Giant Peach becomes Diane and the Giant Peach. Diane, a question for you. OK. Which 1993 family film was about a boy called Jesse who wants to save a killer whale? Oh, nice. Um. F free Owain. Free Owain? Absolutely right. Free Owain. Oh. Free Willie becomes free Owain. Owain, you have a question. Thank you. Feel free. <laughs> <laughs> Which comedy drama series stars America Ferreira as the title character who gets a job at the fashion magazine Mode? Oh, my gosh. Um... Um... Uh, ugly... Ugly Adam. I gave it back Adam. to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course he's going to give it to you. So he only wanted to use the male name. Okay. <laughs> he wasn't going to That's pass good. that across smart, to either smart. of the women on the show. <laughs> I'd have taken it. Uh, ugly <laughs> Betty becomes ugly Adam. Adam, final question of the round for you. Oh, cool. Which hill overlooking Edinburgh is the highest peak in Holyrood Park? If you get it, I'll give you a point. I'll also give a point to the person who you name in the... Uh, <laughs> I don't know it. Notes, you time you out? I, I don't know it. Sorry, yeah. If only we had someone here who'd spent a huge part of her career I in know, Edinburgh. I know, I know, and I've never been up it. No idea. Because I'm too lazy. <laughs> um, and everybody else has. Oh, it's, it's the one everybody knows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. Arthur's seat. Jenny. Well, I'm going to go Diane's seat. Diane's seat. <laughs> Arthur's seat becomes <laughs> Diane's seat. Point for Jenny and a point for Diane there. It's the end of the round. Oh, well done. Let's take a look at our leaderboard going into Answer Smash. Oh, look at this. Wow. Jenny and Diane, five and six. Owain and Adam, nine points each. Oh. How about what? that? <laughs> Is Owain going to have his first win of the week? Is Adam going to have his second win of the week? Can they be caught? Let's find out, shall we, as we play it. Fingers on buzzers, please, everyone. Point for a correct answer. Don't forget, point off for an incorrect answer. Could be crucial today. Your first category is... Comedians. Let's take a look at your first picture and your first clue. Which vocalist came to fame as the lead singer of Blondie? That is Owain. Debbie Harry Hill. Debbie Harry Hill. <laughs> Debbie Harry and Harry Hill. Debbie Harry Hill. Well played, Owain. Next question, next comedian. Which 2021 TV series created by Russell T Davis shares its title with a UK number one hit for The Pet Shop Boys? Nobody. Hold on. 
I'm sorry. No, it's <laughs> okay. your game. Uh -huh. okay. Um. Uh, That's uh, it. Yes. It's a sin V. It's oh, a sin and sin V. Yeah. Next question, next comedian. Which Cockney duo had hits with Rabbit, Gurcha and Snooker Loopy? I know who the comedian is. You know who had those hits. Jenny. Chaz and Dave Gorman. Chaz and Dave Gorman. Gorman. Oh. It is Chaz and Dave and Dave Gorman. Chaz and Dave Gorman. Next category. Beauty products. Those will be the pictures. There'll be clues oh, above. Right. <laughs> Which 1980s darts-based quiz show was revived in the ITV series Alan Carr's Epic Games Show? Yes, Owen. Bullseye Shadow. Bullseye Shadow. Oh, clever. It is Bullseye nice Shadow. Time. That's something we should take to Dragon's Den. Bullseye Shadow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, In my head, I'm going makeup, makeup. <laughs> Bullseye and eyeshadow. Next question, next picture. Which 1973 picture book by Raymond Briggs is about a character who is also known as Santa Claus? Yes, that is Diane. Father Christmas Scara. Father Christmas and Mascara becomes Father Christmas Mascara. Yes! Next question, next picture. Which novelty song by Joe Dolce was a UK number one hit in 1981? Yes, Jenny. Shut up of your face pack. <laughs> yeah, one. shut up of your face pack. Yeah, or shut up of your face mask. I'll take you out of shut up of your face pack. Next category. No more you categories. Oh, okay, no, you did. Yeah. On Monday, our champion was Adam. On Tuesday, our champion was Jenny. On Wednesday, our champion is Owen Win Evans. Well done, Owen. Thank you. Nicely done. Now, firstly, congratulations. Thank you very much. Secondly, I know you were in the, on the horns of a, of a dilemma choosing your prize, but. Uh, now you really do have to choose it. Which of these would you like? Oh, it really was tough. Um, <laughs> however, <laughs> upon reflection, yeah. I think I'm still going to go for the salt and pepper grinders. Salt Look and at pepper. them. Well, they're beautiful. Oh, they're they in a gorgeous beautiful. brushed aluminium. Yeah, they've got a bit of heft to them. Are they oh. electric? Really? They are, yeah. Ooh, Ooh, even, even better. Even better. Can you believe your luck? What a day to win. <laughs> uh, congratulations, <laughs> Owen. Let's have a Thank quick you. look at the weekly leaderboards. Two days to go. <laughs> Diane, you have six. Jenny and Owen have eight each. Adam up there with ten. It's very close, isn't it? Very close. Very close. <laughs> Lots of points still to play for as well. Three yeah. separate winners we've had wow. this week. Congratulations, one and all. Shall we do it again tomorrow? Yes. Yeah, look forward to seeing you all here. Look forward to seeing you as well on the House of Games. Yeah. Borrow your hands, Adam. Go. Okay, are we ready? This is the pepper. Oh, oh my gosh, there's an LED. <laughs> this oh. is the salt. Wow. Sick. Oh. You can have that, Adam. Enjoy that. <laughs> That's Thank amazing. you, Richard. Well played. <laughs>